So let's go shopping. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm really excited. We are going to be going to a bunch of stores and I'm gonna be doing a haul of everything that the stores have in them for Valentine's Day. I love decorating for the holidays, so I'm not doing a ton for that day, but I do wanna do some things for Valentine's just to put things around the house. I actually did go through the decor that I already have and I did have a few things. I'll show you guys what I have and where I placed those because I did already put those up. I went to Target, Dollar General, and I also went to the Dollar Tree. I was really impressed with some of the things and then some places I was not so impressed. So come along with me and let's go shopping. When I get home, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and do a haul and put everything up. So let's go shopping. So the first stop is the Dollar Tree and you can see they had quite a bit of stuff. I was actually really impressed with the selection that they had. Um, they had a lot of things for decorating or if you're throwing a little party from like you know the tablecloths you see to the confetti to put on the tables, even cups. So I was really impressed with that but we'll get more to the home decor once I go around to the next aisle. aisle that I go down actually did have some home decor things. I love the love you bucket right there but I didn't get it. They even have little treat containers. I thought those were really neat. Um, they do have these really pretty candle holders but only the tea lights are going to work inside of these um, but they are transparent on the front so you can see like the candle burning but over here you'll see these pretty candles right here. They do not it. I did try one. Unfortunately, it was too large to fit in that, but it's okay. A tea light candle worked just fine. Now this next area right here had a lot of signs that you could put around your home and I had a really hard time deciding which one I wanted. They had a ton and they were all so cute. So pause the video after you see the wall and comment down below which one you think I purchased. There's still more to come so keep watching. we have made it to Target and we're gonna go through and take a look at everything they have. They had quite a bit too. I was really impressed with their selection as well. They didn't have as many like little signs to put around the home which I was kind of on a hunt for but that's okay. They had a good selection so I'll let you take a look at those now. And everything you're seeing right here is in the bullseye playground which is at the front of every Target store everything ranged from like a dollar I believe a dollar three dollars and five dollars was the most expensive thing I saw that was Valentine's Day related in this area and once I have gone through everything Valentine's Day related up here at the front I'm gonna head to the back of the store and check out what they have back there
I thought the candles were really precious. I love the containers. And I actually went through and did smell each one. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my honest opinion. The berry one, which is the last one I smell right there, I just picked up. Love you very much. That one smells amazing. It smells just like strawberries. Just a tip, and if you like strawberries, you'll definitely love that candle.
it to the back of the store and you'll see they have a little bit of home decor. Not a ton of stuff, but I did find something back here that I'm really excited about and can't wait to share. Perfect. done with Target and the last store was Dollar General and guys they had nothing out. I was so disappointed because in years past I have done really good at the Dollar General <laughs> but that's okay maybe they'll have their stuff out soon. And we are home and I can't wait to show you guys what I bought but before I do that I'm going to go around the house and show you the things I already had. I'm going to show you where I put those and let you see my decorations so far. Then we're going to do the haul and then start decorating. This is my love banner and I have had this for many, many years. I love it. It's made of tin and I thought it looked really good against the blue, so that's where I decided to hang it this year. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys are my little lights that I hung on the fireplace. So I love these. I actually picked these up, I believe, from the dollar section last year at Target. And they're just really cute, simple lights, but I think they definitely add something to the fireplace. I also have this little baby heart I threw in there with the red berries just to bring in a little more red. The love sign that you see right here, actually my husband gave me that many years ago for a Valentine's Day present. He actually purchased it at Cracker Barrel. If you have one near you, I definitely recommend stopping by, going in, and checking out their shop. They have a ton of stuff for your home and a lot of it's really reasonably priced. These throws right here are actually from Christmas and I decided just to leave them out. They have red. I don't have a lot of red in the living room, but because of the decor having red in it, I thought it tied everything together. I believe I got this little red heart um, at the Dollar General many years ago. You can see it's kind of scuffed up from where it's been in storage, but oh well, it looks really cute on this table. For the coffee area, I just added this little plate with the hearts on it. I think I found that in the dollar section somewhere. I honestly can't remember. And then I found a little red mug with hearts on it that I had from last year to add to it. I would love to get another hand towel to add up here, but this one will do for now. It's just a simple red one with hearts on it. the last thing that I had that was mine is this simple heart that's got the tin in the middle that kind of matches my banner in the living room. So now that you've been around the house, you've seen the things I had already and put out. Now I'm going to show you the things that I actually purchased from the stores I went to. So let's do a little haul. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, I found this cute little doorknob hanger. It's really precious, I thought. It's got a heart at the top of it, which did make it a little difficult to hang on the door, but it's still cute. And it has the little bells with the ribbons. And I'm going to put that on, I think, my pantry door. And I did pick up one of those candle holders I couldn't resist. I wanted to go with a red one just to kind of add some more red to the house. And I'm just going to put a simple tea light candle in it. Ooh. 
last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was this sign. Did you guess correctly that I got this one? If not, it's okay. And if some of you follow the family channel, you definitely have seen this already in the vlogs. Now for what I got at Target. My daughter actually found this and you didn't see it on the vlog because I actually already had it in the cart. I thought it was pretty. I love the color and I love the saying on it. And this table needed something so I think that's where it's going to go is right here on this table. And I believe this one was $5. I did pick up a banner because I wanted to add a banner to my fireplace and I thought this one was really pretty the tassel one and it would bring in some pink to go along with my red this is what I was excited about I actually found a table runner to go on the table these are really hard to find sometimes you can always find like the plastic tablecloths but to find a really pretty runner is just difficult my girls actually picked up a few things for their bedroom. They picked up this little jewelry holder. My daughter wants to put her rings in it, which I thought was super cute. They actually had bigger ones than this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so we probably should have got it from there, but that's okay. They found this pretty plant in a little pink planter, and that'll look really good in their room because they already have pink in there anyway. And they got the candle I was hoping they would. It smells amazing. This is the one that smells like strawberries. I said I didn't have any luck at the Dollar General, but I actually kinda did. They're really not Valentine's Day related, but I'm still excited for my purchases. I actually picked up these three small plants and they actually are in glass containers. And I like them because they're small and I'm gonna actually add those to that pink tray that I showed you guys earlier that I purchased. I got the only three I could find in the store and luckily they were all three different. The last thing I picked up was that really pretty mirror that I'm about to show you guys. I love this. In my dining room, I'm looking to put a bunch of different type of things hanging on the wall from pictures to artwork to like mirrors and different things. So really excited to purchase that and I'll hang that up later. Now let's get to decorating and putting out all the things I purchased. The table runner actually was a whole lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I really thought it was going to be long and hang over the table, but I think it looks fine either way. And I'm having the hardest time finding plates for my table. I guess I just need to go get some plain ones to throw up there because right now it looks kind of silly with no place settings. So not much to do here just to put it on the table, but I actually think it looks really cute. And hang the doorknob hanger there, and there you go. I had the hardest time deciding where this sign should go. As much as I loved it, I'm like, where should it go? I think it looks just fine right there. Now let's change out that candle. Add a little color, perfect. Now let's hang the banner. Okay, I didn't like it on the fireplace. I was struggling to get it actually up there, if you guys saw. <laughs> then when I did, I didn't like it. It kind of took away from the simplicity that I was going for. So we're just gonna keep it like this. I actually like it like that, so we're gonna keep it there. But I was like, oh my gosh, where can I hang it? I actually tried it a few different places. I put it on the steps going upstairs. I didn't like it there. So when all else fails, the best place for me to hang a banner or anything it's going to be in a window. I think it looks cute. It looks totally normal in here because anytime that we have a birthday or anything like that, 
I always hang a banner there for Christmas, birthdays, or whatever. So to me, looking at it there looks totally normal. So it's gonna stay there. But yeah, I think all the decorations look super cute and I hope you enjoyed them. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not, and I'll see you guys in my next video.